Sister Margaret Mary, don't you say, you know, sister of an Angelus. And uh, I, I will be 83 in July, the 15th, and I was born in 1929. When did you enter the convent? 1950. 1950. Why did you decide, was, why did you decide to go in? I don't know. I was, was it because I was Angela was in her? No, I was nursing in Kappa for a year or two and uh, a priest came and we went in to confession to him. He said to me, did you ever think of being a nun? Well, I said, I did, but not now. So that kind of bothered me, you know, and I kind of made up my mind that I would go try it out. And, uh, what age were you then? Nineteen. So you? I think you were twenty. I was twenty. Yeah. I think. You'd been out for a year or two in the world. Bad, and, yeah. Bad. And that them. made it harder when I went in, hmm. because I couldn't understand their carry on at all. So you went home and told your parents. I did. What did they say? <laughs> oh, all my mother said, as long as you don't go out to America, because I was thinking of going out with to my aunt, because I loved her. Yeah. The uh, we used to call her Bootsy, <laughs> and she was lovely. And she said she went after the other nun and said, "Tell Budzi not to be encouraging Claire to go." So I got. Why did I must have told you when you said it to one of the sister Bernard, and she got after me to come. And I came, I suppose. The sixth of January, isn't that right? Yes, yes. Fifty. And what did you think of it when you went in? Oh, stop. <laughs> What am I doing here? <laughs> what am I doing here? Picking up carpets and banging them in the morning. And one, one day, well that was the day I went up to you and said, I'm going home. Fed up with this place. And she took me so cool that I said, I won't go. <laughs> <laughs> Were you stubborn? Oh, stubborn, that's right. <laughs> And, um, so you had to go through all the prayer and the... Oh, I had. And doing things that were really, to me, foolish, like. Mm. You know, but I stuck for an And then, well, several times I was talking about going home. Mm. Isn't that right? Mm. Was it easy? Could you walk out easy? You could. I could. There no restraints in it, like, The mother now said something to me one day, and she, uh, it annoyed me. She said, and I gave her some kind of an answer. And she said, I'll give you my, your cap and coat and you can go home. Do, I said. <laughs> so that's all that. But she didn't. Yeah. And then, what, oh, I thought then I'd be allowed to finish my training, nursing. But they didn't. Mm. Sent me off to sign here. I didn't know anything about sewing much. I learned some cooking from my mother. But um, anyway, I went to say. And why did you decide that they were going to send you to sign here? Because it was, what, my sister oh. Kevin was ill at the time and they needed somebody. Because they needed somebody, okay. Yes, oh, just didn't yeah. matter. No, we can always say. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was a tough course and hard. And it was hard on me because I hadn't any experience mm. of sewing in the machine or doing anything like that. But anyway, I got through it. I came back then. So the two of you got trained actually when you were in there, yeah? Oh, we did. Mm. That was common, was it, for people to get trained up into things? Eh? Oh, it was. Oh, yes. Mm. Um, mostly. Mm -hmm. would, you ever, would you ever do a management course now? Did anybody do a management course that was a kind of no, someone did? Not really. Mm. That I know of. And uh, when you were in there, was there a hierarchy? Like, was. When you the went bishop in, that was in charge. He was in charge of you. you and if he saw you out in a car, he'd be ringing up the next day asking the Reverend Mother what sister was in that car. And would, would he know you all? He would, I suppose. Oh, he suppose he would. Who was your bishop that time? Um, Welch. Welch, yeah. Well, he was a long time in, oh. in power, yeah. And um, so you went off teaching domestic science then? Eh? Yes. So you taught all the girls at Westport how to make breakfast for those fellows and uh, stewards. I enjoyed it really, mm. and I loved when I started really in Westport in the Sacred Heart School. Mm. Girls were very nice, and your daughters were very nice. <laughs> Kevin, one of my best pupils. And, and, uh, and 
Did they're you? all very nice. And well, you're happy, happy, you're happy, 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 yeah. I was happy. Yeah, I just, yeah. I, I didn't, they didn't give me any trouble, yeah. and they weren't bold as such, yeah. you know. But with your colleagues in there, the, oh, yes. the said sisters. I was. Yeah. I've wondered, like, when does they say 30 or 40 women there together, is there not jealousies and... Oh, there would be a certain amount, yeah, no. yes. But not to eat. They'd be controlled. To get lost. <laughs> Same as outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what did you think of the big changes when they came for Vatican II? Oh, they weren't... They didn't come in time. Didn't come in time, eh? Would you agree with priests getting married? I would. Mm. If they want to, you know, if they wish. It mm. should be left uh, an option. The visual, eh? mm. could, could it lead to a kind of complication? I suppose it could, but you're having to the, uh, the Protestant bishop mm. or whatever they're called, rectors. Rector, yeah. Did you have much of a relationship with Protestants in, in the, over the years in the town? Not really. Yeah. We had more of later years. Mm. But in the 50s you wouldn't have in the 60s. Would you be allowed into the Protestant church now when you'd be? I don't know. We didn't have you didn't ask. To, no, ask. But as the years went on, she used to attend yeah. ceremonies there. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ah, yes. The last few years we got very friendly with them. Mm. It was crazy like. Well, that's the, that's the way the times were, and, and before that, they were narrower again, you know. Right. Yeah, that's the society of Ireland. Going to a Protestant church. Yeah, I was never in a Protestant church until recently. Well, until I came to Westport, really. Yes. Well, I didn't know. I went into Westminster Abbey when I was a student. Yes. And I thought I was going to be struck down in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, it's just trust and right, really. Yeah. Do you ever miss not getting married? No. Well, it's what you were married. You were considered to be married, weren't you? Pardon? Weren't you married to God? Or was that a myth? <laughs> that was a myth, I think. Yeah, that was. Uh, uh, Never miss it? Never think about it? No? 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 Not really. no? 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 Angela? No? No. No, yeah, you never no but, uh, but yeah. I see the, the little ones now, my grand nieces and nephews. You know. Mm -hmm. I think, well, isn't it great for those who reared them and see them growing up? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was in later years, mm. yes. Did you miss that? No? Mm -hmm. You did miss that, yeah. Well, in, in so far as I, I felt I was not jealous of them, but a bit envious of yeah. those who saw their, their family grow up. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But it was good to be belong to a big family, I mm. think. Yes. Because you could kind of share them. When you yes. Mm. Mm. 